Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So I want to share with you a practice that is a part of Qigong, and it's called Zhang Zhuang. And basically, it's a form of still meditation is what it is. Um, it's using the body in certain positions to create an energy flow. And it will really transform your life and your practice if you're a martial artist or just somebody that's out there to improve their health and well-being it has so many uses it could be very very helpful for people that have any sort of structural imbalance so if you have chronic back problems chronic leg problems hip problems neck problems this could realign your body and it could basically help your posture and it'll also teach you how to channel energy and increase your energetic flow throughout the body. It has tremendous benefit to the organs. And it's just an amazing practice that looks kind of simple. Uh, there's more to it than meets the eye. And so probably the best book I've found for beginners to understand this practice is uh, this one right here and this is called the way of energy and um, I read this book when it first came out back in 1991 I believe and it's by Master Lam Cam Chuen and it's mastering the Chinese art of internal strength with Qigong exercise and it's a specific type of Qigong exercise again called Zhang Zhuang and so this is a great book to take you through this gentle but extremely powerful practice. And as it says right here, for centuries the internal art of strength was a closely guarded secret in China, embracing all the hard and soft martial arts, including Tai Chi and Qigong. It, it only now, and this of course is about 25 years ago or so, um, is being unveiled both in my country and to the world outside. And this is Master Cam Lam Chuen speaking. And Qigong is ancient, as we have talked about. So his experience of the extraordinary benefits of the Zhang Zhuang style of Qigong exercise stretches over the past 50 years, during which time I have studied its application in hospitals and clinics throughout China. People of all ages have come to be treated for disorders that often neither Western medicine nor traditional Chinese medicine could cure. Hypertension, arthritis, tumors, other chronic disorders of the respiratory, cardiovascular, nervous systems. The time has come to make this system of preventative and therapeutic health care open to everyone. The way of energy makes a unique contribution to the understanding of health and potential that is a natural heritage of every human being. I'm pleased to have been able to collaborate in this with Master Lam Cam Chuen of Hong Kong. A qualified practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine, he has contributed to my own expertise as a surgeon in the Western medical tradition, both through his research in the ancient study of qi and through his years of clinical work healing people with bone, nerve, and muscle injuries. And so, your bodies are filled with energy, and often it's blocked within us. We are born bursting with life, yet we grow old, depleted of vitality. And in the, the Chinese way of thinking about things, look at a baby. Look how flexible a baby is. You know, a baby is born with a very high percentage of water uh, at four, as far as body weight. And then as we get older, we tend to dry up. And we tend to lose our flexibility. We lose our circulation. And we basically get stiff and brittle. So Qigong can help to reverse that. And through the practice of Zhang Zhuang, you could increase the flow of the vital life force energy that's flowing within your body. This will correct energy imbalances. This will realign your structure. It's a tremendous healing practice that is so gentle that pretty much anybody could do it. If you could stand, you could do this practice. 
And over time, you will notice huge improvements in your health as it will actually help your organs to function and to restore function in some cases of organs that are not functioning properly. And so this internal system, and this is a form of internal arts, internal martial arts, it's very transformative and powerful, and it's one that accumulates energy and the life force over time as it restructures and realigns our body and the organs into optimal positioning and optimal performance. And so, as we've talked about before, everything is energy. Everything is energy moving at different frequencies and vibrations and wavelengths. And dis-ease leads to disease. And so, you could be in the only one of two systems. You're either the the nervous system is broken down into two. You know, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, and you're either in fight or flight, or you're in rest and digest. So you're either producing cortisol and stress hormones, or you're producing feel-good hormones, serotonin and melatonin. Breath work and focusing on one thing can shift the nervous system into allowing itself to heal. And when we pay attention to our structure, we will start to notice energy blockages and imperfections. And this will basically allow us to restructure and rework our positioning, and get rid of our blockages, and allow the energy to flow through the 12 primary meridians. If you watched any other of my uh, videos on energy, um, or if you've studied any acupuncture, any Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, there's 12 primary meridians, and you could think of them as the equivalent to your vascular system for the energy body. So they run parallel with your cardiovascular system. And basically, the energy, the life force runs through them. There's eight extraordinary vessels, which we've talked about on some other ones as well. And these are like reservoirs, bigger reservoirs of energy. And then we have three Dantians, and Dantians are even bigger reservoirs of energy. So the Dantians are what we're going to focus on. Primarily what we're going to focus on is the lower Dantian as we start out. And the lower Dantian is about two inches or so below the navel in the center line of the body. And that's the first uh, reservoir. And so when we're doing Zhang Zhuang, what we are doing is honestly we are filling that reservoir, which is going to lead to abundant energy going out into all of the primary meridians. And really, eventually, you have abundant life force through the lower Dantian, the middle Dantian, the upper Dantian, the 12 primary meridians, and the eight extraordinary vessels. And it's all flowing as it should, smoothly and evenly. So it's all about intention. So you have to lead with your yi, which yi, Y-I, in Chinese is intention. It's the mind. So the mind guides everything. Everything starts and ends in the mind. And really, it, it, there's so much wisdom in the Tao Te Ching. And this is a line from it. Standing alone and unchanging, one can observe every mystery, present at every moment, and ceaselessly continuing. This is the gateway to indescribable marvels. So, this is one of the earliest references to Zhang Zhuang. You're standing like a tree, alone and unmoving. You come to understand everything that happens within you. All the internal changes that take place in your organs and your muscles. You practice constantly, you feel the reactions taking place. The feeling never stops. It goes on and on, over and over again. This is the way. No matter how far you go, you will never come to the end of all the wondrous things there are to discover. So as we still our mind and we go within, we discover amazing things that we've never even noticed about ourselves. 
So basically what we're going to start with, really, in, in Zhang Zhuang, are, are two basic exercises. And the first one is what we call the Wuji um, position. But always, always, always what you want to do is warm up. And so there's numerous different warm ups to do. And if you had the time, I would do my short Qigong program, which is basically what we call purgation. Purgation is getting rid of stagnant energy. And then it's the eight pieces of brocade. And eight pieces of brocade is a classic that opens up the 12 primary meridians. And so that, in my video, takes about 20 minutes to complete. Um, and you could actually do it in 10 minutes, really. But it's just the fact that what we need to do first is get rid of stagnant energy and get it circulating. Now there's warm-up exercises on this PDF, and this PDF is the entire book, and I would strongly recommend anybody that's interested in it at all, you know, read this. It's a free book right here. And so there's some simple warm-up exercises for you to do that will get the energy flowing and get you warmed up. If you have the chance, again, do my short Qigong program and then come into practicing Zhang Zhuang. Now you can also do my long program, which I do have here as well, which lasts a little bit over an hour. Um, and that is an all-inclusive program. So there we have purgation, we have the eight pieces of brocade, we build energy through uh, Zhang Zhuang and some other practices, we circulate it through silk reeling movements, and then we end with some still meditation and some actual Reiki techniques. So this is an extremely powerful class, and if people would just simply do this on a regular basis, you, your whole your whole body will change and you will roll back the years and you will feel healthier than you felt in a long time. It's just a matter of consistency. So Wu Qi, which is the first position, and even though it looks like, well, what am I doing? I'm just standing there. Pay attention to the detail. And it's in the detail. So this is the basic first position. And as it says, your eyes look forward, slightly downward, drop your chin a little so that your throat is not pushed forward, release any tension in your neck. Let your arms hang loosely, drop your shoulders and your elbows, relax your hips and belly, let the bottom of your spine unfold downwards so that neither your belly or your bottom is sticking out. Stand with your heels at least a shoulder width apart, never stand pigeon toed. Inhale and exhale gently through your nose only. Your mouth should be closed, but not tightly shut. Don't clamp your teeth shut. If saliva forms, swallow it. Exhale completely, allow your chest to drop. This is the ideal position, posture. Don't stress or stretch or stress out your fingers. You know, allow them to curve gently and remain slightly apart. Unlock your knees. You can bend them ever so slightly. Make sure they don't stiffen into the fixed lock position. And so, when we look at it, head suspended, it's almost as if you're hanging from a chain. The spine is straightened. The pelvis rolls forward, tilts forward. This allows easier flow of the life force up through the governing channel and the center of the spine. So do not allow a severe curve in your spine. Do not have your chin going upwards. And you know, do not have your pelvis rolling backwards. And basically just stay in this position and follow your breath. Mentally opening up what we call the bubbling springs or bubbling wells, which is the K1 point in the feet. And it's basically just past the arch, uh, just past the ball of the foot in the arch, right in the center. You'll feel it in no time, and it'll feel like it's pulsating and pulling energy. And so we have our K1 points focused, opened up. Sink, visually sink your roots into the earth and start to draw energy up through those roots, up into the body. And we're going to bring it up into the lower Dantian, which is about two inches below the navel. Center and feel your crown chakra at the top of the head opening up as well. And with each breath, you're drawing in energy there as well. 
So aligning mind and body. And this is also out of Tao Te Ching. I have heard that in ancient times there were the so-called spiritual beings. They stood between heaven and earth, connecting the universe. They understood and were able to control both the yin and the yang, the two fundamental principles of nature. They inhaled the vital essence of life. They remained unmoving in their spirit. Their muscles and flesh were as one. This is the Tao, the way you are looking for. And so again, uh, your position is as if you're suspended from the top. We touch the tip of our tongue to the roof of the mouth right behind the two front teeth. This, Basically, this connects the governing channel that runs up the center of the spine with the functioning channel that runs down the front of the body. You sink your roots like a tree down into the earth. Allow your knees to be slightly bent. See, these are the bubbling wells. Weight is evenly distribute, distributed. And as it says here, the, the Dantian lies about an inch and a quarter below your navel. You will feel it. You know, it, it's somewhere in that range of about two inches typically. So you just center yourself and you start to feel the flow of the energy. Now the second position is holding the ball. And, uh, or embracing the tree. It's called different things in different traditions. And so it's as if you're holding an energy balloon between your arms. And this is the key one. And this will fill up your Dantian. And this will just start to channel life force energy into the body. It has amazing ability to just change your whole energetic structure and system. So slowly bring your arms forward and Form an open circle in front of your chest at about shoulder level. Your open palms face the chest. The distance between the fingertips of the hands is equivalent to one to three fists. The tops of the thumbs are no higher than your shoulders. Your wrists are about as wide apart as your shoulders. Your elbows are slightly lower than your wrist and shoulders. The inner angle between your upper arm and forearm is slightly more than 90 degrees. Do not bend forward. Again, you sink and feel yourself sinking into the ground as well. Imagine that you are holding a large inflated balloon between your hands, forearms, and chest. You're gently keeping it in place without tension. It is resting naturally on the inner surface of the circle formed by your fingers, palms, arms, and chest. Your arms and upper arms rest on two small balloons. Your elbows rest on two large balloons that float on the surface of a pond. Your thighs gently hold one balloon in place. A huge balloon takes your weight behind you like, like a beach ball in the sand. The weight on your feet remains slightly forward. And like a tree, you are rooted from below. And like a tree, you reach upward to the sky. So visualize, imagine the balloons, and then just focus on the breath. And your breath is abdominal. So as you breathe in, the diaphragm goes downwards. First, try to sense the expansion in the sides and the low back, and then allow the stomach to extend forward like a baby, as a baby breathes. And you will, and I always do, I feel my lower back, my lumbar uh, vertebrae expand, and often I'll just get a like a chiropractic adjustment where they'll crack and release energy and go into perfect position. And then slowly just run through and feel your fingers relaxing completely. Let go of all tension. Feel your hands completely relaxing. Let go, let all the tension go. Let the, the wrists totally relax. Forearms totally relax. Elbows relax. The upper arms relax and let go. Shoulders relax and let go. The neck relaxes and let go all tension. And then feel it in your upper back. Relax and let go of all tension all throughout the spine. And then just focus on the breath. Every inhale, you're drawing life force energy in. You can feel that ball of energy between your palms and your body getting stronger and stronger. Every exhale, you could visualize the energy just glowing around you. 
there's many different ways to, to do this as we go forward, and some are much more complicated, very, very complicated, very precise. But to initially get the feel for it, just hold on to that visualization. So the benefits of Jean Juan practice result from inner growth and transformation. The fundamental changes begin to occur in your internal organs and in the nervous system itself. Without unusual sensitivity or training, most of us cannot sense these at first, whereas we can all feel the immediate effect of hard muscular activities such as jogging or weightlifting. The initial impact of Zhang Zhuang takes place deep inside you, like an explosion from the depths of the sea. And so it is all the more important to be aware of what to do when you're starting your training. So important points to remember, if you feel tired or faint, don't close your eyes, otherwise you might risk falling down. Remind yourself to relax while holding in the correct position. You will need to check for tension over and over again. And that's one of the things you will, in time, start to feel things burning. And usually the burning is going to be in a place where you are holding tension and you're incorrectly aligned. And if you just make a minute adjustment, you will find that at first it might feel a little unusual to bring yourself into a proper alignment. But then the tension will go and you'll be back into a position where you could hold it effortlessly again. So when you finish the second position, lower your arms, stand quietly for two or three minutes, then gently shake your arms and legs. Then it's a good idea to make a final series of 20 circles with your arms at a moderate speed. Finally, walk, walk around slowly for a couple minutes. You are then ready for the day. Women, your increased blood circulation may make your periods heavier. In this case, stand for less than 20 minutes during menstruation. So typically what I'll try to get people to do when we first start working on this is maybe hold the first position, hold embracing the tree position for about 20 breaths. 20 slow, deep breaths. We'll strive for that, and then we'll increase outwards from then. We could start to, to time it so that you could hold for 5 minutes, hold for 10 minutes, keep working your way up till you're holding for 20 minutes. Typically, in my personal practice, I would usually hold it for about 40 minutes. And uh, in that time, I found that that was, well, honestly, anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes will build up a tremendous amount of energy in you. Holding it for 40 minutes at a time builds up a, a lot of energy very fast, especially now because there's so much more energy coming in now, cosmic energy coming in because of all the changes that we see with the grand solar minimum and with the magnetosphere declining, more energy is making it into the planet, more energy is hitting us. So you can make actually faster progress doing these type of practices than you could have years ago. It's night and day. And so after you finish your standing exercise, it's a good idea to run your hands several times over your face as if you were giving yourself a wash. This increases the flow of chi in your hands and the circulation of, of chi through the facial skin. You will look fresher, almost polished. This combined with increased alertness will give your eyes a clearer and brighter look. So two simple tests show that the exercises are making changes in the body. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Leave one arm loosely by your side. Raise your other arm into the second Zhang Zhuang position as if you were holding a large ball, balloon between your arm and the chest. Breathe slowly from the Dantian several times. After one or two minutes, you will feel the difference in your right and left sides. Then raise your other arm to hold another balloon. You can feel the energy circuit without your fingers touching. To feel the increased circulation, try a second test. Stand for 10 to 15 minutes holding the invisible balloon between your hands and chest. Then lower your arms. The tingling sensation in your fingers is a result of the rush of blood and chi. And it goes on talking about different breathing techniques, Dantian breathing as well. And I do encourage you guys to, to read this. This is a very easy read compared to some of the other books out there that are so, so much more technical. This is probably the easiest and most simplest of techniques for starting out with this, but yet extremely powerful and it can bring on incredible changes in you and it could correct so many little aches and pains uh, so many issues such as lack of energy it will help to reduce inflammation in the body it will help to build your immune system decrease your allergies and things along those lines 
and it will give you a much greater sense of peace. So I really encourage you guys to read the rest of this. It's a great practice. It's really probably the single most powerful practice you can do is Zhang Zhuang. And so there's other exercises in here that mimic the eight pieces of brocade. And these are actually, these are the eight pieces in a, in a different one than I typically do, slightly different, actually pretty close. Um, and so these exercises as well will help you tremendously. Now, if you wanted to see, just to give you a taste. Now this, this is out of Mantak Chia's book. And this is a much more complicated form of embracing the tree in a precise manner. So you're going through the same same positioning that we're taking for that. Holding your arms, facing the chest and all. But then it's very, very specific as to what, what you do after that. And so you could get into these. These are a little bit more advanced. Um, and, and I just am including this so you could get a feel for it. But for people that are just starting out, I strongly uh, recommend checking this out, reading this, start practicing some of the energies, exercises, and you will be totally transformed. And then also practice my um, full class when you have the time. Again, it's a little bit over an hour, but it is so incredibly complete. And uh, when Things are running smoothly in my, in my life. This is something that I do every single day. And an uh, hour practice is, is, is not, I know it sounds like an awful lot, uh, but when you're, when you're looking at it in terms of the health benefit, it's well worth it. And if you can't do that, then I do have a 20 minute one as well. It's right here, the short Qigong program. That will get everything flowing and really help to prevent disease and that will do a wonderful job at increasing your energy flow as well. So I would still encourage you guys to check that one out too and do whichever one you have time for. And then you could also develop your own program with the Zhang Zhuang. So typically for me, uh, when I'm in the groove, what I will do is basically the, I'll do like the short program with some standing one time during the day, and then I'll do the equivalent to the full program another time during the day. And uh, it's been a while since I've done that with the move and everything like that. Uh, but I will tell you that when I do that like that, I feel almost superhuman. It's amazing how it can just transform anything. Tra transform whether you have arthritis, whether you have um, any sort of disease going on that's autoimmune, if you have back problems, you name it, it can help with all those things and really, really give you back a lot more of your energy, vitality, and sense of well-being. So my friends, as always, please do thumbs up, support the channel, uh, subscribe and click the bell, get all the notifications and share with as many as possible. And we will help others grow stronger and healthier as well and more at peace as well, because that is one of the biggest benefits you're going to get. It's just a gr much greater sense of peace and well-being. So my friends, may you be blessed with abundant peace, wellness, health, and always be kept safe in these times. Namaste and God bless.